said, like 90% of the time, guys, you want to solve for t in the x equation. Well, obviously, guys, in this equation, you look to solve for t in the x equation. You're like, eh, maybe I might want to take that back. That doesn't look too much fun. Now, could you do it? Yes, of course you could, right? But again, remember, when you're introducing the square root, you're going to have plus or minus. And then therefore, it's going to, like, when you take the square root both sides, you're going to have plus or minus. It's going to look a little bit weird. But so we know, like, when we have an equation, a little sidebar here, y equals x squared, that gives you a parabola that, like, opens up. Correct? So let's just kind of sidebar that information here. Why don't we, in this case, it looks like it's pretty easy to solve to put the to replace t in for y into the x equation. So x equals negative y squared minus 3. So if y equals x squared is a parabola opening up, and y equals negative x squared would be a parabola opening down, I mean, let's just make a guess. What do you guys think the parabola when y is squared would be doing? It's going to open up sideways, right? Yeah, exactly. And again, just to give you guys a little bit of context here, what if we did subtract this, y squared minus 3? What if we did solve this? We'd add 3 to the other side. So we'd have x plus 3 equals negative t squared. Divide by negative 1. Divide by negative 1. So if we have negative x minus 3 <laughs> equals t squared, square root, square root. So t would equal plus or minus the square root of x, sorry, minus 3. What am I doing? Solving for t, right? Yeah. No. Solving for. Yeah, solve for t. But you guys, and then you guys could plug that in for here, right? So you plug in the t in for there. So therefore, it'd be y equals that. And again, think about the square root curve. If you have a positive square root curve and then a negative reflected square root curve, it would be a sideways parabola. And if you type that into your calculator, plus the radical and minus the radical, you would see it's going to create a sideways parabola. However, when x is positive, you're going up, right? When x squared is positive, you go up. When x squared is negative, you go down. If y squared was positive, where do you think we should open up to? To the right or to the left? To the right. But we have a negative here, right? We have a reflection. So what do you think that's going to do? To the left. So this is a parabola that opens left. Now, let's have a little fun with this. Why don't you guys go ahead and type that into your equation, or your calculator real quick. 